name is Ellett Hall, and I'm an American Parkour-sponsored athlete. I just started doing parkour when I was 15 or 16 years old. Um, at that point in time, I was planning on uh, joining the Navy to try and become a Navy SEAL, and uh, someone was telling me they have an obstacle course in their training, so the word parkour came up, and I looked it up on the internet, and kind of didn't really think much of it, but throughout time, as my interest in the military faded, I decided that I would continue training parkour. I do parkour because it's really just a very interesting way to experience the things that my body can do. Really just a wonderful way to get out, see things, do things, and spend time with my friends. I spend the majority of my time in the woods, and you know, it's wonderful to go hiking and spend time in the woods, but it's also just amazing and cathartic and just this visceral feeling of power to go running through the woods and be able to overcome any obstacle. I found out about American Parkour um, through a guy I met at a gymnastics gym. I think what I like best about American Parkour is the community that I feel at all of the events and jams that are organized by them and just really kind of the brotherhood I feel with the other athletes. Really everybody all around the nation. Parkour in general and everybody involved with American Parkour has really given me a really deep friendship with a lot of people. I spend the majority of my time training in the woods and the wilderness and the reason for that is that I plan to spend years living there later in my life. I'll tell you about my injury. Um, about, I don't know, a year and a half at this point I think. Yeah, about a year and a half ago I was training um, out in Utah where I was living for a while and I was trying to do this dash vault to underbar on the tree and the underbar involved going through a split in two tree branches. A tree branch sticking out of one of those trees. It was about this long, um, and it happened to stab me through my armpit right there. <laughs> Didn't realize that it happened when it happened. So I was walking around uh, the place where I was training, and I was bleeding a lot without knowing it because I couldn't see it. And some guy sees me, and he kind of stops me and he says, hey buddy, um, you're bleeding a lot, are you okay? And I said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Like, He's like, you're, you're bleeding a lot, do you need to go to the hospital? And I was like, ah, no, it won't be a big deal. And then, um, you know, as I walked away, I kind of got a little bit worried. Like, you know, I thought it had hurt, but I didn't think it had hurt that bad. So I called up one of my buddies to come take a look, and he came and he picked me up, and he looked at it and kind of told me, yeah, you've got a giant hole in your arm. So I had him drop me off at the hospital, and um, they stitched me up and uh, sent me home. If I could tell someone who's never heard about parkour any one thing about it, I think I would want to explain to them the community aspect of it. That's something that's really missing in a lot of people's lives, and I think it's a really beneficial thing, and it's a very special thing that we have. My name's Ella Hall, and I'm APK. Thank you.